Okay, this video is going to be on master pages, and I'm going to scroll up here. You can see from my page panel that I've got six documents and they're facing right now. At the top here, you can see where in the page palette where it says A Master. And note that all the pages right now have this A. That means the master page is applied to all of these pages. Right now, there's nothing on the master page, so nothing really has been applied, but you can. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the left-hand side master page. And all I'm going to do, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to draw out a rectangle, and I'm going to apply a color to it. And note that all the pages right now have what I applied to the master page now on that page. So if I click on page two, sure enough, and if I scroll down, I've got the rectangle. Note that it has a dotted uh, outline here. This is a visual indicator that this is a master page item. I'll do that again. This time I'm going to click on the right hand master page and I'll go ahead and create a circle this time and I'll fill it with yellow. Note that anything that was on the right hand master page is now on my regular pages. So if I click on page one, scroll down, I've got that circle on both of the pages. Let me zoom out here. View, fit, uh, fit page window. Again, if I scroll down, all those items are applied. If I try to select these items and delete them, I cannot. So anything that's on the master page, you could not delete from the regular pages. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is if you wanted something on all the pages and you wanted it consistent throughout, maybe you had a mass head at the, to at the top. This was a magazine and you wanted to put the title of the magazine and maybe the month. You'd want that on all the pages, and you wouldn't want to accidentally delete that. If you do want to get rid of something on a master page, you can simply go back to the master page. And note down here, it does say master page A. You can select it, delete it, and it deletes it from all the pages. Same with this one. If I delete it, it's gone. I'm going to hit undo and undo again so that those master items are still on those pages. Now, sometimes it's hard to know when you're on the master page and the regular page. I wish it, there was a more of a visual indicator here other than down here. Uh, there just isn't. But if you do go to the pages, you can see you've got that dotted line here. Master pages really help your documents become much more consistent. And it's a huge time saver. Rather than putting items on every single page, you can just add it to the master page and it is going to add it to all those pages. Now, one thing that you would want on all your pages is a page number. And that would be something that you'd want to add to your master page. So I'm going to come up here to my left-hand side master page. And in order to put it on all the pages, what you need to do is create a text box where you want your, in this case, the page number. And you would want to go under Type, Insert Special Character, Markers, Current Page Number. Okay. Note that it's an A down here. I'm going to increase the size of it so you can see it really well. Now, the A is referring to the A Master. InDesign knows, though, that it's a page number. I'm actually going to center it. I'm going to do the same thing for this side, the right-hand side. I'm going to draw out a text box. I'm going to go type, insert special character, markers, current page number. Okay, I'm going to center it. And again, I'll make it what size did I make this one. I made it 36. I'll do 36 again. Now, if I go down my pages, I'll click on page one. I have a page number. If I continue down my docu document, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Again, because they're on a master page, I cannot get rid of them easily throughout the document. Again, master pages are a huge time saver and adds consistency to your documents. You can add more than one master. Maybe you're creating a magazine that has different sections and you want to have a separate master for each of the, of the sections. You could go to the flyout menu here in your page palette and add new master. It's going to label it or give it a prefix of B and you have another set of master pages. Okay, now that I've got that big red circle on master page B, what I could do is come down to page seven and add another page after it. And note by default, it adds master page A again, but what I can do is take master page B, click on it and drag it on top of that A master. I could add another one. I could add another one another one and if I want it to go back to page A all I need to do is drag and drop whichever master I want on the pages. This was master pages again if you go on to topography topography one or two you will go much more in depth on master pages.